the Orange Bowl. Now, this one is at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time on New Year's Eve, and it is, of course, in Miami, Florida. It is uh, a college football playoff semifinal game. Georgia taking on Michigan. Georgia, the lower-ranked team, but is favored by 7.5 here. The... Da, 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 da. The gifts for this game. It's in Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. There is a gift suite, a Torno watch, and a commemorative football. Now, the gift suite, I would imagine, on this is pretty awesome. You guys know I don't like gift suites, but when you pair it with something cool, like a watch or whatever else, totally fine. Makes perfect sense to me. So, uh, with that said, let's talk about the actual game. I think that there is a world in which Michigan can actually throw the ball to win this ball game. And I know that that sounds crazy, but Georgia has not faced a lot of really good passing attacks. And when you did see him face off against a pretty good quarterback in Bryce Young, he ate him alive. I don't expect Cade uh, McNamara to be able to do the same things that Bryce Young did. However, we are talking about one of the best offensive lines in college football, and it was voted the Joe Moore Award winner. That's the best offensive line in football. That's... That's what Michigan has going for it. I don't think that Jim Harbaugh and Josh Gaddis are going to be egotistical enough to just ram their heads against the wall over and over and over again. You cannot solely depend on the rushing attack against Georgia's defensive line. You can't do it. You're not going to be able to score. However, you can throw the ball a little bit, get some of those linebackers, Nicobe Dean, etc., to back off the line of scrimmage enough to open up a few holes here and there. If you can get your running backs out in the flat, if you can get them uh, in space, then yeah, you can use them that way as well. I think Cade McNamara could have a pretty big day, statistically, and and you won't even see it coming. That's how I think that this thing could go. I still think Stetson Bennett is good enough against Michigan uh, to be able to get Georgia a win here, but I think it's going to be tight. I think this looks like a tight, tight ball game. I think the total on it is 45, 46. With a low total like that, I mean, you're talking about a 24, 21 type of ball game. That sounds right to me. That sounds right. And these two teams may not even get into the 20s. I think both of their head coaches, Jim Harbaugh and Kirby Smart, would be perfectly fine with a 17 to 14 ball game. I think that's what they strive for. I think that's what these teams are built for. I think in a tight game, where there's not a lot of points, seven and a half is too much. So I will take the Wolverines to cover the seven and a half. I do think Georgia wins, but I do like Michigan to cover here. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.